Hi my kindergartners. So for today's video we are going to be working with our kindergarten packet. You should have been able to pick one of these up and we're going to be working on day one and day two since we missed a day of the packet. Now we won't necessarily be doing packets every day because we're going to be trying to do our lessons on Google Classroom. But while everyone is learning about Google Classroom and how to log in and access it, we, the next couple of days, we will be concentrating on my video lessons on our kindergarten packet. So today is two, 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 Tuesday. Tuesday, August, can you see that? August 18th. So today is Tuesday, August 18th. And what you will need for today is your kindergarten packet and you will also need your box of crayons. I have my crayons here ready, ready, ready. All right, let's look at this page. It's the page with your animals and some fruit on it. And we're gonna talk about some colors. And you might already know your colors, so this is probably just practice for you. And if you know them, that is awesome. Pat yourself on the back. Say, Miss Pierce, I'm so smart, I know my colors. So let's go over those colors. This first picture, that's a banana, yum yum. And that banana would be yellow. This is yellow. Can everybody say yellow? Yellow. I also have this yellow circle. Yes, yellow. So that one is yellow. So if you have your crayons, go ahead and find your yellow and go ahead and color your yellow banana. Color yellow, color all in the lines, take your time and feel free to pause this video so that you can get some nice coloring done. Yellow, okay? Our next fruit, do you know what that is? That's an apple and that apple is gonna be, what color is this? Red, it's gonna be red. Red apples taste so good, they're so good, they're so good. So go ahead and look in your crayons and find your red. And we're gonna color our apple red. Take your time. We're gonna try not to scribble scrabble. We're gonna just try to color very neatly and very slowly and stay inside of the apple picture. So our apple is red. Next, do you know what that is? That's a frog, that is a frog. And frogs are usually what color? They are green. So do you think you can find your green crayon? I have mine here, green, green. And we're gonna color our frog green. Take your time, we're not in a rush. We pretty much have all day to do this. So best coloring. I'm just doing a quick job coloring because I don't want you to have to sit through a long time of me coloring. But there's my green frog, green, green. Okay, our next we have, do you know what that is called? That is a whale and whales swim in the ocean and they want us to color our whale blue. So here I have blue, blue. So find your blue crayon, blue. I have my blue here and I'm gonna color that whale that swims in the ocean blue. Remember, take your time. I'd rather you take your time and color a beautiful whale than color really fast and him look really messy. So a nice blue whale. That's my blue whale. And our next picture, that's an orange. And what color are oranges? They're orange. Oranges are orange. That one's an easy one because the name of the fruit is actually the color of the fruit, orange. So let's find our orange in our crayon box. I've got orange and I'm gonna color that orange, orange. Do you like orange juice? I like orange juice. I like orange juice and lemonade and fruit punch and grape juice. I don't think that there's any juice I don't like. Take your time, nice and slow is the way to go. There we have my orange orange. And then we have 
A kitty cat. That's a cat. They want us to color that cat black. Ooh, spooky, scary, scary. They want us to color that cat black. So can you find your black crayon? Yep, perfect. And take your time. Color his tail and his legs and his head. And just, again, do your best. Because when we get back into school, I want to see how nicely you are coloring. Black cat. Next, do you know what type of food that is? Those are grapes. These grapes, they want us to color purple. They want us to color our grapes purple. Some people like green grapes. I like green grapes. I like purple grapes. I don't care what color grapes are. I'll eat them. I like grapes. And here's my purple. So I'm going to color my grapes purple. And you know what I'm doing with my grapes? I'm coloring them in the shape of a circle. So I'm going around and around, around and around like a circle, instead of scribbling back and forth, because I want them to stay circular shape. So I'm going around and around, just like this, around and around like a little circle, because I want my grapes to stay looking like a circle. Look at that. So you go ahead and finish coloring your grapes. Remember, you can pause this video at any time. Color those grapes around and around. Take your time and try to stay in the lines the best you can. Purple grapes. And our last picture, ooh, what is that? I have one of these at home and you know his name is Teddy Bear. That's a dog. They want us to color that dog brown. Brown. Here's my brown blocks. Brown. So go ahead and find your brown in your crayon box. I have my brown here. And we're gonna color that cute little dog brown. Is my teddy bear brown? Do you remember from the video? Is he brown? I think you only saw his head. He's white on his head, but he does have some light brown spots. What about you? Do you have any dogs at home? Yeah? Well, they better be good boys and girls for you. And there's my brown dog. How's your brown dog looking? Hopefully very, very well. Feel free to have mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, sister, brother take a picture of your coloring so that I can see how beautiful you did and go ahead and you can post it on the dojo or post it on Google Classroom, either one of those, because I want to see how well you did also. I'm showing you my beautiful coloring. I want to see your beautiful coloring. Beautiful. Beautiful coloring. Okay, so let's review our colors. We have yellow, like the banana. We have red for the apple. Green for the frog. Blue for the whale. Orange for the orange, right? And the spooky, scary, scary black cat. And purple for the grapes and a cute little brown dog. And again, here is my finished coloring. Remember, take a picture of yours and send it to me so that I can see how well you did. Okay. Then you also, in your little packet, you have a let's learn in kindergarten. Since you learned right now to color inside the lines, taking you time nice and slow, I want you to color this picture for me and send me a picture of your coloring. I want to see how beautiful you color. So go ahead and color your Let's Learn in Kindergarten picture with all of your colors, yellow, red, green, blue, orange, black, purple, brown. I want all of them. And then send me a picture of it. Okay, you can pause this video and then finish your coloring, but I'm gonna move on to our colors and our shapes. You see this page in your packet? We're gonna work on our colors and shapes. So it looks like our first shape here, do you already know what that is? That is a square. I have a square right here. Look at my square. What color is my square? It is blue and it has four sides. One, two, three, four. Just like this picture here. One, two, three, four. And that is our square. But they want us to color our square red. So find your red crayon. Where is my crayon? Right here, red, and color that square red. 
Remember, take your time. Nice and slow is the way to go. Stay inside the lines. Color every part of it. And there's my red square. Nice and easy, lemon squeezy. Okay, and actually you can go ahead and color your red crayon that's underneath your red square too. Red, red square, red apple, red. Our next shape is a circle. We have a circle. And I already showed you this, my yellow circle. You see my circle? It goes around and around, around and around, around and around. And on our page, they want us to color our circle blue. So find your blue crayon. I have my blue right here, beautiful blue. And remember when I told you to, when you color something a circle shape, you go around and around because you want it to stay the shape of the circle. So if you could tell, I'm going around and around, around and around. And I'm going to go all the way to the line. But I'm not going to go outside the line. I'm going to stay right on inside that line. And feel free to pause the video so that you can color your circle beautifully. All right, I think I'm done with mine. There we go. A blue circle. And then I'm gonna color the blue crayon underneath. And done. Okay, our last shape on this page is a triangle. And I have a triangle right here. A triangle has three sides. One, two, three. And this triangle is what color? This one is red, but on our page, they want us to color this triangle green. So where's our green? Do you have your green? I have mine. And I'm gonna color my green triangle. Take your time, do your best. Remember, I want you to send me a picture of the pages that you complete so that I can see how beautiful you did. And also color that green crayon underneath too and try your best to stay inside the lines. Now see here, Miss Pierce went outside the line, but that's okay because I'm doing my best. All of the rest of it, I stayed inside. So we might sometimes make a mistake, but it's okay because we're new learners and we're trying our best and that's all that matters. All right, now they want you to color the rest of this page, but I'm just gonna explain to you which shapes to color which color. So it looks like they want the squares red they want all of the squares red. So we have three squares here. One, two, three. So we want squares red. And they want all of our circles blue. And it looks like, I know how many circles I see. How many circles do you see? I see three. One, two, three. So you go ahead and color your circles blue. And finally, they want us to color all of our triangles. What color? Green. They want us to color our triangles green. How many triangles do you see? I see three, two. I mean, I see three also. Three, two. I see three also. One, two, three. So go ahead and take your time and finish your colors and shapes page. And I'm going to review our shapes we learned about. We learned about this shape. What is this? That's a square. It has four sides. One, two, three, four. We also learned about the circle that goes around and around. And we learned about the triangle, which has three sides. One, two, three. All right, so you go ahead, finish your shapes and colors page. I also want you to color your house. Look at this house. That has a few shapes in there too. Do you know what shape this is? That's a triangle. It has three sides. One, two, three. Triangle. Do you see any other shapes? What about the shape of this window? What shape is that? That is a square. One, two, three, four. And actually, there are squares inside the window. Do you see those there? One, two, three, four. There's four squares inside this square. Do you see any circles? Hmm. 
Hmm, do we see any circles? Oh, right there, a little doorknob. I see that one circle. So I want you to take your time, color your house using your colors that you learned about and just do your best. Take your time, color it nicely, and please, please, please send me a picture of your packet page. All right, my darlings, that's the end of our video lesson for today. We learned about our colors and we learned about shapes. So please do your best on your pages, for my pages here, and take a picture of them and send me to them. <laughs> send me to them. Send them to me. You can't send me to your pages. Send your pages to me. Okay, my darlings. Well, till our next video, I will talk to you later. Bye and big hugs.